What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to enter the crypto sphere. Now for those of you who hear about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and want to get in on the bull run, you're going to need to know some basic things. And in this video, I'm not going to cover everything, but I'm going to cover what you need to know because there's, there's a lot of information that you need and in this video I'm gonna give you a lot of information it's gonna be a lot to take in um, now remember this this crypto market and the cryptocurrencies there there's so there's so much to it I, I know it could be intimidating it could be it could be very intimidating for those who don't know anything about it but once you get to know it you know you'll be pulled right into the rabbit hole and you will love it trust me and right now is the perfect time to get into it because we just finished a correction and the bulls are back in town so <clears throat> what I what you need to get first right you need a old you need a pen and paper uh, get a get a folder so you can keep all your information to in it um, I would also have a safe so you can keep your information now remember this is highly val valuable information you could make a lot of money and if someone gets a hold of your codes your wallets, you know, etc. They could take it all, okay. And you need a bank account with online banking already set up. So, so first, we're going to start off with CoinMarketCap.com. Now you're gonna, you might need to watch these videos a few times over. Um, you know, I try to teach them in a fun way so people understand. But again, I'm going to be doing separate videos to be getting more in depth on these topics. But as of right now, I'm just going to cover the basics for you guys. So, CoinMarketCap.com, which is this, is a great website. It's the number one website that people look at just to see the update on their coins, the the market status, things like that. Um, on CoinMarketDoc. CoinMarketCap.com. You can see the overall market cap, the 24-hour volu hour volume. You can see the change in the past 24 hours. Also does hours, seven days, things like that. You can see top gainers, losers, uh, all sorts of stuff. So you can see Bitcoin's number one, Ethereum. It ranks it in in uh, evaluation to its market cap from highest to lowest. So you can see all the cryptos. You know, there's pages and pages of it. Okay, so that's coinmarketcap.com. This is where you can see other cur currencies. You can click on them. It's um, so like EOS, for example. You click on EOS, it'll show you the circulating supply, total supply. You can click to this website. You can see its social media feed. Um, you can see what markets it's sold on. Okay, these there's you know you could also find the markets. There's tons of crypto markets out there that you can get registered on. So let's get coinmarketcap.com out of the way. Uh, that's probably, you're going to be using that all the time to, to just be updated. So coinmarket that, coinmarketcap.com is a fantastic website. So let's exit out of that. Now, tradingview.com. This is a fantastic website to find your charts, to do analysis, to, to, for everything. You can get you can get you can make an account and register for free and start using it immediately. Um, but if you get into trading, like I tell everybody, if you want to be a trader, get the upgraded package. It, it's like 20 bucks a month, and you get all the tools you need. Just like if you're working at a construction site, if you're working in an office, you need tools to do your job. Um, but TradingView.com is a fantastic website. You can get all your charts. You can see you can see all the tickers. Um, you know, you, you could type in everything. Um, it also does stocks, gold, silver, precious metals, everything you need charts for. You can get it at tradingview.com. So make register, make an account, and get that out of the way. So make an account tradingview.com. Just get the free at first, and then when you get into trading, just just get 20, the twenty dollar twenty dollar per month plan. It'll give you more tools, so you can do better analysis, and once you learn how to do those types of things. So, so that's tradingview.com, right? Um, now, let me just go over something real quick. Now, remember, 
all this information, all these new login information, all these new accounts you're making, do not, I repeat, do not write, do not save it in your computer files, okay? Because if you get hacked, if a hacker gets in your computer, if you do something one day, and all your crypto login information, all your crypto wallet addresses, all that stuff is inside your computer, they have access to everything. They could just drain you, completely wipe out everything. So old fashioned pen and paper is the best. That's why I say get a folder, make it specific just for cryptos, write all your new register and login information, your passwords, your, your private keys, all your backups, everything, write it down on pen and paper and make sure it's accurate. Every uppercase has to be uppercase, every lowercase has to be lowercase, but keep it old fashioned and just old school pen and paper, a folder, just keep everything safe, put it in a safe if you have to. Um, so that's, that's that. So let's get back. So that's tradingview.com, which is this, okay? You can see all the charts, you can see what Bitcoin's doing. So let's exit out of that. I'm, we got a lot of information to go over, so I'm gonna try to go over things quickly. And like, again, if you need help getting set up, you could just email me at cryptosides with a Z at protonmail.com. So, let's get out of uh, trading view. Now, Gemini. Gemini.com, right? Basically, you want to get registered on all these platforms, all these websites I'm showing you. Even if you're not putting any money in yet, just get registered. Make sure you save all your information. Make sure it's secure. That way, when you do jump in, when you want to jump in, you have all this already set up. Because a lot of a lot of these sites, such as the exchanges and, and the crypto banks, it, it could take two weeks for you to get verified. So once you register, they have to assess it and make sure you're you before you could actually start using it. Okay, so it's good to get registered now. That way you get a foot in the door because the bulls are back in town and the prices will be going up. <clears throat> so Gemini.com, there, there's two I use, right? I call them crypto banks. They're basically exchanges, but the difference between a trading exchange and the crypto banks, such as Gemini.com and Coinbase.com, is Coinbase and Gemini.com, they both you connect your bank account to. That way, when you first want to buy cryptos, they only offer like three or four different cryptos, which are the, the most popular ones, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Zcash, things like that. But basically, at ground zero, when you first get into the market, to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum, whatever, you start, you, your very first step is at Coinbase.com or Gemini.com. They're both great. Me personally, I think Gemini.com is faster. The fees are cheaper. Um, if you decide to cash out, take out some profits, you'll have it in your bank account in a day or two. Compared to Coinbase, where Coinbase could take a week, three to four days, it's 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 longer. But this is Gemini.com, okay? So once you register, you have to give up. You have to give them your information, your phone number, your email address, and make sure you write all this down. It's very important. This is the same thing as having a bank account. Okay, it is a bank account. So, so once you get registered on Gemini Gemini.com, um, basically, there's a few things you have to do. Uh, once you put forward your application. It's going to want two-factor authentication, which basically is an app on your phone called Authy, A-U-T-H-Y. It's, it's, like it's like a red symbol. You could download it on Google Play on your smartphone. Um, so every time you log into your Gemini account, it'll, it generates a new code that only you have sent to your phone. So make sure, keep all this information precious. Keep it safe, okay? So get registered on Gemini.com. Um, I will do another video in the future on what is two-factor authentication. It might seem complex, but it's really not. All you gotta do is is scan it. You, you download the the authenticator app on your phone first. Then I'll have a scanning tool. And when you when you set up the two-factor authentication on Gemini, it'll have a barcode. You open up your app your new app, scan a barcode, and boom, it'll be right there. And every time you log in, it'll have a new code that you have to enter after you give your other information. It's kind of like an extra security feature. 
So Gemini.com, think of it as a crypto bank. This is where you're gonna connect your online banking from a, one of your bank accounts that you use and you could first buy your first cryptos from here, okay? And also in the future, when you start trading, say you bought Bitcoin now at 7,500 and Bitcoin hits you know, $20,000 a few months from now, you could sell your Bitcoin to them and they deposit the funds into your bank account so you could use it, okay? So that's Gemini.com. It's a crypto bank. I call them crypto banks. Uh, I use Gemini.com and Coinbase.com. And when you're on it, when you're on Gemini, right? See this buy? So you could buy Bitcoin with US dollars, Ethereum with US dollars, um, or you could buy other pairs with Bitcoin, say. But for now, you're just going to be using US dollars since you just got into it. So you click on Bitcoin, BTC to USD. And boom, brings you here, right? So say, now once you, like I said, it's gonna take about two weeks for you to get verified. So while, once you're verified and your online banking from a bank account is connected here, you'll be able to buy. So right now the price of Bitcoin is 74.94, right? So you could just type in the total of US dollars you want to spend right here. Say you wanna spend $500 it'll generate the current price and how much Bitcoin you'll have 500 bucks. In this case, it's 0.06671835. And then you just click buy. And then you should have it in about a day or two, okay? So that's the basics. Now remember, in this video, there's a lot of information, so I'm just covering the basics. You might have to watch the video a few times over to really understand. Okay, so let's get out of Gemini. <clears throat> Oh, uh, w when you set up two-factor authentication, you go right here to security settings, okay? And then you can set it up there. And to connect your bank account, you just click on banks, bank settings, okay? So let's uh, get out of Gemini. Okay, now let's go over Coinbase. Coinbase is the same thing as Gemini, okay? Now, Coinbase, I would register with them too. They're, it's a crypto bank. Gemini.com and Coinbase.com are both crypto banks. I call them crypto banks because you connect your bank account with them. Um, now, remember, keep this information highly safe, okay? So, when, when you're on Coinbase, it's the same setup as Gemini, basically. So... When you're on Coinbase, you register. Uh, it could take a few weeks for you to be registered. And then, um, sorry, one second. So once you're on Coinbase, you build, uh, once you get registered and you're verified, all that, you set up your two factor authentication. Now, the two factor authentication for Coinbase is you go on your smartphone and you type in Google Authenticator. It'll, it'll look like a silver G. Okay, download the app, and once you set up two factor authentication, once you have the app downloaded, it'll generate a barcode. You scan the barcode with your app, and, it'll, and you'll add to your list of, of uh, codes. The Google Authenticator generates a new code every 10 seconds. When you actually download it and you get registered, you'll see what I mean. And every time you log into Coinbase, after you enter your login information, it will ask you for your, your two-factor code. And you just enter that and you'll be able to get in. So on Coinbase right now, you can buy Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Okay, it'll show your accounts. You could also put um, US dollars in here and just keep them in there if you want. Um, and also when you decide to sell, all you got to do is, is you can buy and then you just click sell. So say you have one whole Bitcoin in here, right? And Bitcoin hits 15,000 and you bought at 7,500. All you got to do is sell from Bitcoin wallet, deposit to USD wallet. It will sell. And, and right now in this account, I don't have any, I don't have anything. Okay. So, so once you sell it, it'll go right into your US dollar wallet. And then when you go to accounts you click on USD and it'll have a withdrawal button and then you withdraw it and and it goes straight into your bank account it takes about a day or two 
So that's Coinbase. <clears throat> so, so we covered the crypto banks, right? Which is Gemini.com and Coinbase.com. We covered TradingView.com, where you could get charts and for everything, whether it's crypto, stocks, everything. I would get familiar with it. I am going to make another video on all these topics that will be more advanced, get going more in depth into these things, so you can understand it better. But for now, just get registered. That way, everything's set up. Um, and uh, you know, just just be prepared. So when you are ready to jump in, you, you you're good to go. And we went over CoinMarketCap.com, which is where you can get all your information, see other coins that are out there, the websites, etc. Okay, so get familiar with these websites. Now, there's two other things you will need. There's something called cold storage and hot storage. Cold storage is is a hardware wallet. Let me show you. You will need one of these, a ledger wallet. Okay. There's also another one called a Trezor, Trezor, which is good, but I don't, I don't use Trezor. I use the ledger wallet. It looks like this. Okay. I would, I would buy one of these, and on this you could hold all your cryptos, and all you gotta do is plug in your computer. You could withdraw it from your accounts on your exchanges into, into your hardware wallet. This is. This is called cold storage. It's a hardware wallet. It's safe. You have to back it up with codes and words and uh, Nobody can get your funds if it's in this and when you want to take them out or trade them You just plug it in your computer and your funds will you could send your funds where you want them to go <clears throat> So I, I would get one of these ledger wallets. They're great. You could get them on eBay I think it's around 100 to 150 150 bucks um, It's a great it's a great wallet. So that's 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 something called cold storage. It's the safest way. <clears throat> okay. So once you get one of those, I'll make a video on how to set that up. I would get one of those, you know, just have it ready. Um, now hot storage is something called a, um, it is a desktop wallet. Okay. And that's basically a good one. Basically this kind of wallet you could download and it'll be on your computer. It, it binds to your computer, so it, it'll only be on your computer. Now there's a good one called Exodus.io. So basically once you download it, you have to set up a password. It'll give you 12 words it generates randomly. Write all this down on a piece of paper. Don't save it on your computer where someone could steal it. And once you have all that written down, once you go through the steps, it'll download and, and basically <clears throat> Let me see if I can pull it up. I use the Exodus Eden. Um, it's a little bit more advanced, but there's the plain Exodus wallet that's just as good. So just get the, the regular Exodus wallet. <clears throat> and once you download this, once you buy Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever from Coinbase or Gemini.com, you'll be able to send it to this wallet if you want to keep it on your computer and you build a it'll stay on your computer. It's, it's safe. It's safer being there than on an exchange. <clears throat> so this is what it'll look like. Now guys, remember, I'm going to be putting together classes it's going to be called the cryptosphere enter the cryptosphere and basically I'm going to teach everything in depth from ground zero all the way to make you guys master traders you're going to learn how to get all this set up in depth how to trade how to use your tools the mindset psychology how to read charts like a pro everything everything you need how to navigate everything and also be telling you what coins I'm investing in what coins are, or, or what I what my targets are and what I believe what's going to work the best everything so by the time you're done you build a you'll be making money like like a maniac <clears throat> okay so let's just let this load <clears throat> so once you download your exodus wallet the one you're going to be downloading, it's going to be blue, not red, okay? But basically, 
it'll show you all, all the stuff you have in it. Okay, these are all the different coin currencies it holds. <clears throat> and once you, once you, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go make another video on how to send currencies for you. But once you buy Bitcoin from from Coinbase or Gemini, you get your Exodus wallet, right? And you get your receive address. You could so you could show this to the whole entire world, and all anybody could do is send you money. Nobody could stay, take your money if they have your receive address. That's for anybody to send you money, okay? Now every coin has a different receive address. Every single coin in your wallet has a different receive address, okay? So you basically copy that, and then where you want to send your Bitcoin to, you enter your receive address over there, and then you click send, and then it'll pop up here. But I'm gonna make another whole video how to do all that, which it'll be more in depth because that's important, okay? That's you don't want to mess up with that. So that's what the Exodus wallet looks like. You could customize it. You could exchange what you have um, for other currencies that it has listed. Um, basically everything. It's a fantastic wallet. <clears throat> so let's exit out of this. Now, for those of you who don't know what cryptos are, cryptos are are basically digital assets. It's digital currency in which encryption techniques are used to regulate the generation of units of currency and verify the transfer of funds operating independent independently of a central bank. So basically cryptocurrencies are not all of them are anonymous by the way. There's only there's only a few that are completely anonymous. But Basically, it's, it's digital money that you could send anywhere in the world for next to free or maybe even free. And a lot of times anonymously, you know, it, it's it instantly. Um, and uh, it, it's, a, it's a great store of wealth if you know how to trade. You got to know when to cash out and when to get back in. Um, but at this point, I have cryptos running through my blood. I love cryptos. So, so once you get all that done, okay, now again, I'm going to make more videos, watch them, it'll be more in depth on how to do these things, okay, um, but this is just the complete basics on what you need to do to get set up, to get prepared to get enter, enter this market. Um, now, let me remind you, if you get really good at trading and understand how to use this, you will make a fortune. Again, we just coming out of a correction. We're gonna have a humongous bull run up, to, you know, from here to the end of the year. So now, now you need to get registered on trading exchanges, right? Two of the two. There's a lot of them out there, but two two of the best ones that I trust are KuCoin.com and Cryptopia. Uh, Cryptopia is based out of New Zealand, so Cryptopia is www. Cryptopia.co.nz. <clears throat> so KuCoin, it's pretty simple. You got to, you know, create your login information, set up two-factor authentication, just how I told you before. Um, and once you get in that, I'm not going to log into mine right now, guys, because I don't want to get hacked or my information stolen. <clears throat> but I already logged into this one, right? I never use this one, so if you try to hack and steal my information, you're not going to get anything. This is just a test one to show you guys. So basically, when you get into Cryptopia, a lot of exchanges, they, they do the same thing, the trading exchanges, but it, it's they all look different or are different setups, but it's the same thing. So say you, say you have Bitcoin, right? See this? Bitcoin, click Bitcoin. And you can see, you can see all the different other currencies that you could buy Bitcoin with think of them like stocks you know they're like different companies different groups making their own currencies around a project whatever it may be <clears throat> so say you want to buy some EOS with your Bitcoin type in EOS boom it'll look like this okay now again this is just the basics there's a lot more you need to know but I'm just showing you very basic stuff so these are the sell orders. These are people selling their EOS on this on this exchange right now, and these are people that want to buy it. Okay, so if you want to buy some EOS, you look at the price, which is right here, and you type in the price. So the price for parts of Bitcoin is let me see, zero point zero zero one nine 
and say you want to you want to spend one whole Bitcoin right it'll generate how much one Bitcoin uh, will get you in EOS so that'll be 507 EOS <clears throat> okay and then you just click buy and your buy order will pop up here and again say you want to sell your your EOS for US dollars or Bitcoin you could go to tether which is US dollar tether it's a crypto that's backed by US dollars so you just do the opposite thing on the sell side okay now this is just basics there's a lot more you need to know but this is I'm just giving you an idea here so let's get out of Cryptopia that's Exodus <clears throat> now th this isn't related protonmail.com isn't related to the cryptos at all but I like to use it because it, it's an encrypt it's an encrypted email provider it's the safest email provider you could use if I were you I would create a new email just for your cryptos and your log information with protonmail.com it's safe um, they lose they use more encryption it, it, it and you keep everything organized better okay now again write down all your information these are all precious information anything that looks like it's important write it down do not save it on your files on your computer okay so I hope I'm going everything. I hope, I hope I'm going over everything with you guys well, so you can understand. Um, there's a lot of information, so I'm just really going over the basics to try to give you guys an idea of of where to go, a direction. Um, but I am going to go over all these things more in depth, so you guys can understand better. But basically, the the idea of this video is so you guys can get set up and be prepared and get registered in all these different places so it, you already have a you could set up your own terminal you know if I would get a nice big desk get a nice monitor new keyboard you know have all your papers have a little uh, you know get, get a get a marker board to hang up on your wall so you could stay on top of your trading procedures and be organized okay and believe me, you will make money in this market. It's it's unbelievable, and it, it's it's you'll love it. You know, I call it the rabbit hole. Once you go in, it pulls you in because you get addicted to it. <clears throat> Especially in the bull market, you, you know the euphoria. Once you start making money, it, it's it's the best. And once you learn more and more about cryptos, you know it, it pulls you in. So anyway, <clears throat> now remember. The crypto market is extremely volatile. Okay, if say you bought Bitcoin at ten thousand dollars and a week from now it hits eight thousand dollars, do not panic and sell your Bitcoin and take a two thousand dollar loss. These these markets, these different currencies and Bitcoin, they they are so volatile. One day it could be ten thousand, the next day it could be eight thousand, six thousand, but it's going to go back up. Remember, what goes up must come down, and what goes down it must come on up. And once you're a trader. You will love it because you will know when to sell at the highs and be ready to buy at the lows and do it all over again. You want the volatility once you're a trader. You'll love it. You're not going to get this with the stock market or trading precious metals. It's it's just not there. Would you rather wait in the stock market? You know, you might have to wait a whole entire year just for a 10 to 15 percent gain. In cryptos, that could happen in a day. This is why it's going to be so big. And remember, Bitcoin is, even though it's nine years old now, it's still a baby. If you get into this game now, you are light years ahead of the herd that will be coming. And believe me, the herd is going to be coming. This is the future of money. Okay, you invest right now, you'll be set for life. Okay, it's not going anywhere. So, and remember, think like a contrarian. Okay. A contrarian looks at what the herd, the, the public is doing, and does the opposites. Okay, stay. Public opinion will get you hurt. Okay, oh, don't listen to FOMO. Don't listen to FUD. People, you you, you got to really understand market psychology. Okay, but I, I did make a video on market psychology. I would watch it. Um, don't be impatient. Be a patient trader. Okay, guys. 
And uh, that's it for now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna make a part two to this video, so it'll go recap over things, and I'll do it in a faster speed, so you guys don't have to sit here for an hour. But um, that's it. This is CryptoSide signing out, and stay tuned for more.